you guys not to keep that hanging around. Okay? Okay, um, so according to the Journal of Health Economics, there is a positive correlation between debt and depression. So the longer you keep debt around and the more it becomes a burden on your life, the more likely you are to become depressed. Um, and, you know, therefore, you know, as everyone knows, depression limits your motivation and it also just makes you sad. And um, so we're going to, from that, from this, we can draw a conclusion that debt is a vicious, vicious cycle because more debt suppresses your motivation, the less likely you are to work and the more debt you are to accrue. accrue. You don't want to be that person. Okay, so um, debt has a, a few consequences. Debt causes you to uh, spend more than you can afford. It's not, it's not a real tangible concept. It's kind of abstract. Um, debt costs you money. So things, like for example, I have school loans right now, and right now it's accruing interest, and it's costing me money. My, my education is going to, in the end, going to cost me more than it's actually worth if I had just paid cash. So I want to get that paid off as soon as possible. Um, and also, debt is borrowing from your future income. When I graduate, the first couple years of my income, or hopefully just one, the first year of my income is going to be the equivalent to what my school loans are. It's pretty crazy when you think about that. Okay, so another reason debt is bad for you is debt keeps you from accomplishing your financial goals. So a lot of people want to do um, a lot of things with their money. When they think of money, they think of what they can give to other people, what they can give themselves, wealth, in the form of home. But when um, you think about what your money can do for other people, like I know all of you, Chris is going to be really giving and gracious and, you know, God holds, you know, to provide for the poor. We can't do that when we're in debt because all our money is going to go to bankers. You know, all our income is going to bankers. Okay. So, uh, the International Journal of Banking Marketing claims more than one-third of young adults report having student loans. So one-third of young adults have student loans. And out of that, half of them are concerned they're not going to be able to pay off the loan. That's half of them. Why are they concerned? <laughs> work, people, work. You pay off those loans. Um, the Journal of Higher Education states that of the students who entered repayment in 2005, nearly 47% had failed to repay their loans. And they, they defaulted, 47%. And individuals who, um, individuals who default on their loans tend to be you know, lower income or tend to not have the best grades. You know what I mean? So, um, oh, you know what? Guess what? This also applies to you guys because private school debt is serious. Uh, people, uh, the Education Digest states that 50% of students who graduate with a bachelor's degree in 2009 from a private, not private for-profit university had more than 30K in student loans. Um, that's compared to just 12% of those graduating from public schools. Um, students for, from for-profit institutions hold a disproportionate, disproportionately high percentage of student loans defaults. Okay, so you didn't get grades, you went to a private school, you end up, you're going to end up defaulting. Um, that's a large percentage right there. That's, that's, that's our population. Okay, we're talking about habits. So, don't you want free from that? So according to psychology today, habit formation is a process by which new behaviors become automatic. So we're gonna to wanna to create this sort of a neurological pathway where we used to, you know, we keep ourselves from we keep ourselves from becoming in debt, we keep our thinking, we continue keeping ourselves from accruing more debt and paying off what we have. So also from another article in Psychology Today, rather than have your self-esteem brought down by your failure, you instead can pop a situation that will guarantee you will fail. So <laughs> let's not fail, let's have a plan. Okay, your plan is get ready.
Hey folks, I'm Dave Ramsey, and I wanted to make sure. He's not a disembodied voice. Sorry, I don't know how to bring it up. You gotta drag it to the other screen. You're getting extra credit. Hey folks, I'm Dave Ramsey, and I wanted to make sure. What well, is it on your computer, but not on the screen? Drag, drag it from your computer to the screen. There you go. Drag it, no, drag it, drag it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? But how do we? Just we click it, it and make it full. Just slay it and then drag it. I can't see it. Oh, here, I'll do it. It's okay. Wait, where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make it full. Hey folks, I'm Dave Ramsey. And I wanted to make sure you know that regardless of what's going on in your personal finances or in the economy, you can find hope by learning God's ways of handling money. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach you to do at Financial Peace University. Starting very soon, this church is offering Financial Peace University classes that are open to the church and to the entire community. During the 13th week class, you'll learn what it looks like to handle your money in a way that honors Christ. You'll become an excellent steward, an excellent manager of all the resources that God's given you. Oh, and by the way, the average family pays off $5,300 in debt and saves $2,700 during the first 90 days. That's an $8,000 turnaround. It doesn't matter what your age is, what your income is, or what your debt load is. Anyone can do this stuff. And believe me, it's the most fun you'll ever have learning how to manage your money. Don't miss out, Contact the church office and get signed up today. It's not you there. It's okay. So I know. We, we heard it. It was a message. Frank. It was Frank. Okay, anyway, um, that was Steve Ramsey uh, giving it. a speech. Just or, click it. Well, giving a commercial, really. Just click Just click it. Just click X. PowerPoint. Top right. I don't know. Like, like click the like click the X at the top of the screen. Top right. Okay. Okay. Top right. Okay.
So I know I spoke about private school debt earlier. So the good thing about private school is we have we can use we can utilize um, what private school offers, and you know uh, we've had Dave Ramsey speak here at convention uh, convocation, <laughs> and we actually have free financial literacy classes. So I'm going to conclude with that, but I want to give you a quick, quick um, Bible verse. So Proverbs 22:7, the borrower is slave to the lender. No, the borrower. This, I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish on this page. But the borrower right now, the borrower is slave to the lender. So when we're thinking about that, so when we're thinking about that, um, you don't want to be a slave, and that does make you a slave to other people. So let me show you real quick. <coughs> Up, that's good. Okay. Free. Mm. When it's open, sign up. You can take the classes. It's all free. They'll teach you how to pay for your own debt.